Yo, I don't know what Steven Jackson <laughs> is on with Sebastian Telford, dog. He's steady coming after the man. He's steady going at his throat. Pause. Like, he took what Sebastian Telford had to say about Kobe. Personal. It's personal. <laughs> so, man, look, this is the latest edition of what Steven Jackson had to say about Sebastian Telford. Man, y'all listen to this, man. Now, listen, it's kind of lengthy, so y'all hang in there, man. But listen to what he had to say about Sebastian Telford, bro. Let me tell you what type of shit he, he did. Y'all yeah, know he begged us for weeks. We have the DM. He begged us for weeks to come on our show. We was going to New York. They was begging us so much. We was like, you know what? Let him get on the show, man. I'll show you the text message, y'all. We really wasn't feeling this clown. Because he was begging. And we knew he needed a lifeline because he had f***ed his life out doing dumb shit. Okay, that's one. Two. This uh, three. He comes into the show that the day of the show, right? With a box, with a, uh, like a little box of little jars of cookie, like a whole bunch of different strands of cookie, right? So my st we have people from different races and all kind of people that work for us, that shoot the cameras, that produce and all that. So we have all kind of people on our set. So when me and Matt bring something to the set, or if something's on the set, we know it's for everybody. It's not just for one person, it's for everybody, right? So he brings a thing, a big old thing full of cookies we and put it on the table he land on the table and walks off right so people start grabbing it and looking at it seeing what it is you know some people grab something he says hey what y'all doing i'm like hold on bro what's going on he's like man they gotta pay for that yeah but who told you to bring ain't nobody asked for no man matt ain't running out of no time soon i told you to bring okay since you trying to style on our staff and everybody how much is the weed, bro? He said thousand dollars. I gave him a thousand dollars cash right there on the spot, just so my staff and everybody can run with the tree, right? Let me tell you what type of nigga we dealing with. This nigga texts me, you know, he DM me, he DM me three weeks later, saying, "Oh, dog, them hundreds you gave me was fake, dog." I told him, I say, "Bro, this how the clown." I said, "Bro, Sebastian, I'm not the one, bro. Play with somebody else, dog." I'm not the one. Play with somebody else. You know what his reply is? And I got the picture. This is what his reply was. Target be tripping. <laughs> Bruh, I'm not lying to y'all. I got all of the, I got the DM pictures. It's like Target. When I told him, don't play with me. I ain't falling for that clown shit. This shit say like Target be tripping. <laughs> Bro, if I'm lying, I'm flying, dog. I'm, I'm lying, I'm flying. And I, and if it come down to it, where I gotta show you, I will. But I don't want to put. But he's just a clown, bro. Nigga's a hundred percent clown, dog. Try to say I gave him some fake hundreds. Come on, man. That's how you know I'm trying to pull a fast one, dog. Say target be tripping, man. I'm like, come on, man, dog. Come on, bro. It's like, hey, bro, I tell you, dog, these people, these niggas out here, bro, are weirdos. Are weirdos, man. These niggas, I don't know what they be doing, man. I don't know who raised these niggas, man. Then you ain't getting enough traction or nobody ain't listening to you. What you got to say, you go and start talking shit about COVID. Anytime you got to demean somebody to make yourself look better, you ain't shit. And if you got to talk about somebody else and not talk about what you got going on because you ain't got going on, you don't need to be talking. Huh? One thing about me, I don't speak on people hate me. I don't speak on nobody. If somebody do somebody wrong, I'll take up for somebody. But I don't just jump on my page and say, that person is ugly or that person. No, I don't, I don't, I don't talk about people. But if you say my name, I'm going to come back. But I don't talk about people, bro. I don't just bring somebody's name up out the blue. Either you said my name first or you trying to be a to somebody. Not period. Yeah, but these dudes crazy, bro. These dudes crazy, dog. These dudes make me laugh, dog. Trying to tell you what to do with your life, and they ain't in control of their own. He does some shit. Tell you what to do with your life, or what to tell you what to post on your page, and they won't even post it on their page. I'm gonna give you tips before you leave, girl. Please, it's a slow one. Slow, Ivy. Well, I'm tired of these, man. I just continue to put it in their face so they give them something to be mad at. To see, for people who got a good heart, who got drive, this motivation. But the haters, we make we making them mad. We making them mad, y'all. They ain't never gonna accomplish shit. They gonna sit there and say, why not? I just talk about him and sit in my mama house, play Xbox, hot pockets, paying it out.
bag. I'm thinking of uh, some wine called Patrimony. My first time trying it. It's real good, too. It's strong. It's a cow. All the smoke need to come to Columbus. Nah, we do. I'm going to always ride for Bean. I don't, I'm not getting paid for riding for Bean. I ain't get paid for riding for George Floyd. I'm just a real one. I don't need no applause. I don't need no nothing. I'm straight. God blessing me. I don't need no nothing. I do it because I'm a solid one. Because I choose to. Ain't nobody telling me to speak up for these people. I don't, I've never met Vanessa Bryan. I ride for Kobe because that's my boy. And I know that a lot of times when people say stuff about him, it's not her place to speak out. So people that love Kobe, we speak up for him. I have no problem doing that. I just hope people ride for me when I'm gone, how I'm riding for them. You know what I mean? Speak on my solidness. You did? Well, I know, I'm, you know what I'm saying. I know you're going to ride. I'm just saying. Speak on my solidness when I'm gone. There's very few of fives. I know I make some pretty babies. My daughters are beautiful. My niece is beautiful too, but we all come from the same stock. So. Mad respect for Steven Jackson, though, because Kobe not here to defend himself. You know what I'm saying? And what Sebastian Telfair did was unnecessary, dog. There's other ways for you to gain clout. You know what I'm saying? You was the one of the best high school players in New York history. You know what I'm saying? You got a whole documentary. You did the through the fire thing. You know what I'm saying? It was a big deal. You know what I'm saying? You There's a million other ways for you to get clout. You did not have to speak on Kobe Bryant's affairs like that, dog. You know, you don't know the impact that that had on his family. You know, thinking about his kids, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that man daughter hearing that. Think about that. His daughter got to listen to you talk about how he had affairs with other women. How you think that make his kids feel? You know, how you think Vanessa feel after losing her husband? You know what I'm saying? So, like, you vigorously trying to get clout and not thinking about the people you hurting in the process. So, Steven Jackson going at his neck. You did going at that boy. So what y'all think about this, man? Let me know what y'all got to say in the comment section, dog. Once again, it's your boy, Joe. Joe Squad. Y'all know what it is. I'm out.